close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Try to be with it continually. As for any other thoughts that come into the mind, you can just let them go. And John Cha's image is of a house in which there's only one chair, and you're sitting in the chair, which means that anybody else who has to come into the house has to stand. They're there at your pleasure, and you don't let them take over. If they take over the chair, then you're here at their pleasure, which you don't want. You want to be in charge. So make sure you stay right here and not get swayed by anything that comes in. After all, you want the mind to be in charge of its thoughts. You, want, you don't want the thoughts to be in charge of the mind, otherwise they pull you out, and who knows where they're going to throw you away. If you stay in the chair, in other words, you stay here with the breath solidly, then when they come in, if they're good, then you can have them stay. If they're not good, then they can go away. And for the time being, anything that doesn't have to do with the breath is nothing you want, because you want to learn how to be focused on one thing and stick with that one thing. Because I'm saying, you know, the mind and its thoughts, it's, it's hard to make a distinction between well, whose thought is which thought. But you want to say, well, I'm going to side with whichever thoughts are the good ones. And right now the good thought is, I need to train the mind to be under control. Because so much of the suffering that comes from life is from a mind that's not in control. You see people who are sick and their minds are all over the place, and they cause a lot of trouble, both for themselves and for the people around them. Same with people get old and when people die. If their minds are not under control, they create a lot of trouble. I mean, aging, illness, and death are going to come. But we don't have to suffer from them. That's what the Buddha's message is. It is still possible to find happiness in the midst of all that, but it means having your mind under control. So it doesn't focus on things that are detrimental to it. It focuses instead on things that are really useful, things that are beneficial things that can free it from suffering rather than piling more on. So try to have some control over your thoughts, control over your mind right now. And use the breath as a good place to stay. It's here in the present moment. When you're with the breath, you're knowing the breath in the present moment because there is no future breath that you could watch, no past breath you could watch. It's just the breath in the present. So that's your anchor. And when you keep your mind anchored, then it doesn't get carried away by the storms and the currents, or you keep it in that one seat, nobody else can come and push you out. That's the kind of mind you want.